Okay, this next blogging tool I want to introduce you to is called the Headline Analyzer. And it's put out by CoSchedule.com. You can actually just um, type in there CoSchedule.com Headline Analyzer. And it should populate a page that looks like this. And all you have to do is type in your headline and it will analyze it. Uh, it will analyze it for things like emotional effectiveness, uh, shareability, SEO, things like that. So we'll actually take one of the titles that we pulled from that last tool I showed you. So we'll take 20 myths about parenting. We'll plug it in over here, just copy and paste. And we'll just check it out, see what it says. It takes just a moment to analyze it. Okay, so 20 myths about parenting comes up with a 57 headline score. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, so we'll kind of go down here and look at the analysis here. So it says the headline's a bit short. I agree. Your headline is way too light on words. Okay, I understand that. Um, even breaks down like how important the first three words are. Um, uses keywords here, so myths would be a keyword there. And even mentions the sentiment. So what's cool about this is that you can actually kind of tweak it and see if your score goes up or down. And that's what I think is most um, effective with this tool. It's the most effective way to use this tool. Um, so maybe if we just plug in the word surprising, like an emotional word like that, we'll see what it does. So we were at 57 here. Let's see what happens when we add a word like that. See if it raises it, lowers it. Okay, so we've jumped up a little bit. We're at 68 now. And so you see there how I mentioned surprising would be like an emotional word that would, that would help out a little bit. Um, it's listed there, so myths, surprising, making it a little more intriguing. You know, it says now our headline's at the right length. You know, it mentions the first three words there. So, and even it and gives you a preview here. So that's going to be helpful. And if you do email marketing with your blog, it gives you like a subject line preview. So hopefully, hopefully you see how this can be helpful and you could continue tweaking it, messing around with it and, you know, see what you can come up with, see how high you can get that score to go with and make your blog post uh, the best it can possibly be.